if you want to declutter your Android experience, Niagara Launcher would be my top pick. It has a really clean, simple interface. It doesn't use an app grid, so it's perfect for big phones or if you want to use single hand. It just has a vertical alphabetical list of apps that are in order. And on the top, it has a favorite page. On the favorite page, you have different options to have a few apps that you want to favorite, option to add some widgets and some more information. It keeps you away from getting distracted. So when you jump into a phone and you want to just check the email, you don't get distracted by social media. You just can focus on one thing. The launcher still allows a lot of different customization. So if you want to change the color, the icons, the widget that show up, what shows on the favorite screen, all that can be changed easily. So just hold on top and you'll get the different settings here. Obviously, you can enable weather, calendar, quick settings. At the bottom, you have the option to add custom widgets. Here you can add any type of widget you want. And at the bottom, we have the Niagara settings. It is a lot simpler and a lot less uh, options than Nova Launcher, Microsoft Launcher, but I do like it for the simplicity. So if you go into the look, here you can quickly change the app icon and if you click on you'll have hundreds of different available so it's quick as just selecting the type you want and the, 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 the theme color and once you've done that you can change obviously that the, the, the icons size the font and so on and once you've done that you can go back and once you go back we can see everything has been updated to the new color uh, yeah so like I said if you want a simple easy to set up easy to use uh, less distracting launcher then I would go and install the Niagara launcher. One of my favorite and the one I've been using the longest would be the Nova launcher. I've used it on many different Android devices for nearly five six years. It's one of the fastest, the most customizable, the one that keeps it fresh by getting new updates all the time. So one of the main reasons why I've used this launcher for such a long time like I mentioned was the customization option. So if you go into settings you can nearly change every aspect of this launcher from the home screen to the app draw to the notification that you receive, how it feels. Every time I come in I change something and it completely changes the whole look and feel of the launcher. So here you have the main options to change the home screen, the app draws, the cards, look and feel. You can play around with this be as creative as you want. You can change nearly every aspect, like I said, and it will be very personalized to you. So one of my favorite ones is gesture control. Basically on the home page, you can have different gestures. So if you scroll up, you can set that to anything you want. In this case, I have it to the app draw. You can scroll down to open something else, left, right, double tap, and so on. So all you do is just go into the settings, go into the gesture controls, and here you have the option to set uh, different actions so you can obviously open up different uh, apps as well as well as different shortcuts and you can set these up and start using them really quickly and the one of my favorite features is the option to have notification badge here you can obviously choose the, the way you want it so every time you get a notification and you have an app that supports this you will see a blue dot or whatever you configure it as so one of the other reasons I always return to Nova Launcher is the widget, widget options. It has all the different widgets that are available on Android. It has some of its own. But let's say if you, if you want to choose any type of widgets from any of the apps. So let's go with Calendar. Once you open it up, you can select it and place it anywhere you want. So it's not really have to be in, in a certain place. And here we can edit it with different size as well as if you want it to be more padded. You can even change the colors and so on. So there's a lot of options to keep the home screen looking fresh with a lot of information that you need. Microsoft Launcher is a great example of a smooth, sleek, productive launcher. It comes out of the box working with all the different Microsoft apps, whether it be Teams, Outlook, Windows PC. As having a fully customizable side menu where you can add all your different Microsoft apps and will keep you up to date with your email, your to-do list, and it integrates really well with that. It's similar to Google Discover. While very easy to set up out of the box, it still has a lot of different customization options. So let's have a quick look at the settings. So if you go into the launcher settings, we can see we can edit nearly every aspect of the launcher here as well. We've got the option to change the home screen, the dock, the app drawers, and so on. So one of my favorite ones is the wallpaper option. So if you go into wallpaper, here you can choose to change wallpaper daily with Bing images, which are really cool most of the time. It also supports gestures. So again, anytime you want to go on the home page and swipe up to open something, it will do that as well as uh, all different types of gestures, supports the launcher actions, the different apps and shortcuts. The settings that are a bit more unique to it are, for example, your feed, which I've shown you already. Here you can see what, what kind of cards you get to see if you want to see the news or if you just want to see your Microsoft updates as well as option to go into the work mode setting. Like I said, it's a lot more productive app, especially if you do work on your phone or you have a work mode enabled. This is probably the best launcher there is.